Hey guys, it's Kip with DT4 EMS, and I'm here with Sean Forrestal, the head instructor here at Atlanta Budokan. And uh, I'm sure you may have seen already where we've shared the video of the Volusia County deputy, or I'm sorry, the Volusia County EMS riders being uh, attacked on the side of the road there. Let go of him! Let go of him now! Let go of him now! Go the David, David! Back up! Back up! Back up! You okay, dude? Don't you move! And you saw in the video where the bad guy, who was a former patient, was on top of the, the provider. And apparently, according to the reports, was that he was choking the provider while he was on top of him there. So I've asked Sean if he would care to share uh, a really easy escape for that type of a position. Great. Thanks, kid. All right, so first, I'm down. Bad guy's on top. Now, if the bad guy's on top of me, right, I'd actually much rather him try to choke me than punching me. Because one strike, I don't block it properly, maybe uh, it's done for me. But here, he's choking me, I got a little bit of time. Right? The first thing I wanna make sure I do is secure an arm. Right? So I like to always be two on one. Take one hand under, over the wrist, other hand back to the elbow. If I, most people, if, I, if I'm here, he'll just pull out. And now he's striking me, he's back to choking me. I grab the back of the elbow, grab the wrist, he can't pull his arm out, now his arm's trapped. I'm gonna bring both my legs up. So I bring my leg up, I'm gonna take one leg to the outside with the arm I'm grabbing, as my other foot comes up. As I come up, I'm gonna bridge over top, break the grip and posture up. So the, the idea of this guys is that uh, it's extremely easy to escape that particular uh, attack. The problem is if you don't practice and you get attacked by surprise, learning to defend yourself in the middle of being attacked sucks. So uh, until next time, I'm Kip Teesworth. This is Sean Forrestal. As always, I thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon.